who was ultimately responsible for Japanese-American internment. While Congress ratified Executive Order 9066 in March 1942, and the military carried out orders, the decision of internment ultimately fell before the Supreme Court. In 1943, the sharply divided court issued its ruling on Korematsu versus United States. A majority of justices upheld the exclusion and internment of all citizens of Japanese ancestry from the West Coast. Chief Justice Harlan Stone supported internment, calling it a military necessity. But Justice Frank Murphy called the majority opinion legalized racism. And Justice Robert Jackson warned of rationalizing the Constitution for periods of military emergency. The decision would become one of the greatest disgraces of our judicial system. One of the basic questions was this. Should the Bill of Rights be evaluated differently in times of war? Today, our government stresses tolerance toward Arab Americans and Muslims. Yet since September 11th, the Department of Justice has arrested and detained more than 1,200 people with Arab or Muslim backgrounds. After the Korematsu case, Justice Jackson wrote that the Supreme Court's responsibility is to uphold the values and beliefs of our Constitution, despite threats to our national security. <laughs>